Hello, my friends out there on the internet. Welcome back to another video here on my channel on YouTube. We're not streaming today. This is just for my YouTube channel at Rob Roberts Plays. And this is going to be an interesting one because this is a system I'm not as familiar with. You know, until now, I've been kind of looking at games that I have some sort of memory of from years ago in my youth or either some type of retro collection I played later on. But this one's going to be a little bit different because I didn't grow up with an Intellivision. Now, I ended up being able to appreciate Intellivision years later through collections like Intellivision Lives, but I have to admit, I remember some of the big games like Astro Smash and Shark Shark. I do not remember this game, Beauty and the Beast. This was the first time I'd really heard of this, was looking for some interesting lookbacks at games to play. And this particular game, yeah, I had never heard of this before. Um, this appears to be some type of like maybe Donkey Kong type of clone, maybe based off of... Um, what Donkey Kong was at the time, where you're like, you know, trying to climb the building and get to the damsel at the top, um, which I guess would be the beauty, um, because I'm assuming you're left to play as Beast. No, I, I think you're actually just playing as a nondescript hero character, because, you know, in the 80s, we still weren't quite there yet with ensuring that um, we had the fair representation in games and all of that. So, of course, you know, you had to be this guy that's climbing the building to save the uh, damsel in distress from the, oops, from the ugly thing at the top. And who I guess would be our beast. And of course there's these hearts that are falling. You can collect the hearts, I guess maybe like a Popeye thing going on. But then there's these boulders that are coming down the building. And yeah, there's all these other things that are going on to try to distract you from your goal at hand. The controls in this game, pretty darn simple, considering that the Intellivision, you know, was one of those systems that had that keypad with like the, oops, I, I literally ran into a boulder face first there. The Intellivision had that whole, like, nine-button controller with a disc in the middle. You really only end up using the actual, like, controller and a singular button in this game. Um, which I believe in the actual Intellivision game were the side buttons, is what you would actually use. You wouldn't actually, um use the number pad really for anything. Uh, Intellivision had, you know, those overlays for the old controllers. Um, and the one for this game was was not particularly very interesting. Uh, and that's pretty much, oh, all the research I was able to do before playing this game today. I thought it would be interesting to not really know much about it. It's very Pitfall-esque with those rats coming at you there. Okay, so it looks like we're kind of like slowly climbing this building. This doesn't seem too difficult, but I'm assuming it's because we're still on the first building that maybe the game isn't throwing... Well, it's throwing diagonal boulders at us now. That's pretty interesting. I also think this mechanic where you can only go... You only climb up these open doors is very weird. Plus, I also think it's a little bit not video game logic-y that I can actually touch the beast to beat the level. Um, usually, if I were the beast... Oop. If I were the beast, I would beat me up if I tried to get too close. But I guess, um, I guess he surrenders pretty quick. Okay, so this, oh yeah, look, now we're at the top. Look at them changing graphics, the power of the Intellivision. We did it. Boom. <laughs> I like that, the little shaking screen. Yay. Oh, and the, oh, they came to rescue us. Well, that's very good. So I don't have to worry about how to get back down the building. Well, that's very nice, convenient. Okay, so the boulders now are splitting as they go over those rocks sometimes. That's interesting. I like the little plane that's kind of taunting me with different messages. Like, you just got lucky. Not bad, but not good either. Um, yeah. So, obviously, Beauty and the Beast. Nothing to do with a Disney film or stories it was based on. Nothing to do with... Um, Linda, what was her name? Linda, Linda, <laughs> Linda Hamilton, uh, and the TV show she was in in the late 80s. Nothing to do with any of that. It's just probably a name that nobody owned a trademark to otherwise, at least when it came to making a video game. Uh, so why not? They took it. But yeah, I would say, wow. I literally flew off. The oh my gosh, you get thrown way... You get thrown way back when you um, fall off the side like that. That wasn't cute. Oh, no. Wow. 
My issues really compounded for me there at the end. I took one plunge off the edge of the building on accident because, you know, the controllers are very delicate and it just snowballed for me from there. That's very sad. But at least it's okay. I feel like we've got the basic mechanics of the game down. It's just I'm surprised how long it takes to climb one of these buildings. All right, let's try it again. I'm not going to stop there. Let's try it again. The goal is to try to beat these games. I don't know. I don't know when the end. I think the retro achievements considers like five buildings beating the game. That seems like a, that was, I thought that would mean like five screens. But I guess the game would be too short if that was the case. I will say, I do think it's interesting how it has the mechanic of the changing screens. You know, I mean, that's not too dissimilar from Donkey Kong, right? Like, you know, even the original Donkey Kong, you had the construction level, and then you'd go into, like, the pie factory and the thing with the rivets and all that. So, it's not like having a changing screen is, is news, but I like how, like, you sort of have that big picture of the building, and you can actually see... Oh, I timed my... No, stop it! I timed my jump horribly. Oh, no! That is horrible that if you fall, you fall all the way. You gotta be careful. Oh. Today I learned the hearts make you invincible. That's why the shirt turned red. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. We maybe regressed a little bit on that one, but we won't make that Okay, maybe, maybe I will make a small mistake, but we won't make a mistake again. Okay, we got this. Just no jumping off the edge. I gotta be very, this controller's very delicate when we get to the edge. <sighs> that was a Dumbelline move. That was, oh my gosh. I'm regressing. I'm regressing. I had beginner's luck clearing the first building and now I can't do it again. No, we're gonna do this. I believe in us. Boy, you really do not stay like super, super not beauty or beast very long. Red shirt guy. Maybe the red shirt is sort of like telling the future a little bit because red shirts don't tend to do very well in things that were made in the 70s. Um, if any of y'all remember a little show called Star Trek. Okay. Okay, we're getting, we're getting it back. We're getting it back. We're learning. Okay, uh, we're not learning. We're... <laughs> You have to be, okay, so the boulders only do things on those little midsections. Those, these things, these little U-shaped upside downy things that I don't have a better name for. Okay. Okay, come on, we can clear the first building again. I believe in us. Okay, that gives me a better idea where to hang out. Like, I need to make sure I'm not hanging out on the little dividers because that's that's the danger zone. Okay, so if it passes... Okay, okay. That time I knew because it passed me, it was safe to go up the window and I wasn't going to, like, get a boulder to the face or anything. Okay. Red shirt power. The power of the red shirts. Okay. Ooh, I thought I still had a red shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, I almost walked off the edge of the building again. These controls are so delicate. But when I think back to the disc system, or the disc system, the disc on the Intellivision, what little I did play because I do have a flashback console. And I played it at some point. Like, I think all of us growing up around a certain time, like, played this at a Sears at some point. So it's not like I never played in television. And I remember those discs were very, they felt kind of clunky. <laughs> okay, we did it. We beat, we beat building one again. We're getting it back, we're getting it back. Let's see if we can, me the beauty, Take on the beast in building two. <gasps> Not the diagonals. 
Oh my god, I, w I walked right into a rat. That's the name of my autobiography. I walked right into a rat. <sighs> Okay. You really only stay red shirt for seconds. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I think I think we did better than we did the first time. Just no falling off the building. No falling off the building. Yes, jumping into the gorilla's fist or whatever that's supposed to be to grab the objective. Okay. That's easy. We can just walk right up to him and give him a hug. These diagonal boulders? Not a fan. Not a fan of diagonal boulders. I am a fan of that window being open that's right underneath. Oop. So if the window closes on you, you're kind of screwed. That's not cute. Okay. All right. Well, we got like three more floors. Three more floors and we can beat building two. We got this. We got this. That jumping is... That jumping is some hideous physics. <laughs> okay. 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 We got him. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think we're last floor. Last floor. Come on, building two. Let's go. I hate it. Worst game ever made. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, I was trying to be delicate right at the edge. And I held left just a millisecond too long. And that was it. That was the end. Who knew the real beast all along was controller physics? <laughs> The real beast all along was the sensitivity of the damn controller. Oh my god. Now I'm just regressing because I'd like I just I I ran out of you know what's to give. I ran out of duck emojis to give. I <laughs> It wasn't just the falling off the side of the building, but it was the forever long <laughs> like like wily e. coyote plummeting to his death for literal minutes although he actually never dies he only just you know he only just goes to sleep for a little bit okay i'm sorry i can't i can't allow that to be the ending here on youtube even if you all have even if you all have hit stop by now because they're probably not going to get better than that i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going because i'm what stubborn That bird really said, I'm stubborn too. <sighs> sure. Okay. What's happening is I am wallering in my self-pity from what happened before. And I'm forgetting the basic concepts we learned last time through, which is that you don't stand under one of those places where you know the boulder can change path. Okay. Focus, Rob. Focus. Now, did you see that time I learned my lesson and I moved out of the way when I realized where I was standing? But then I feel like when we get to the next building, everything changes because of those stupid diagonals. I was a red shirt for like half a second. Half a second. 900. Boy, the scoring in this game is mean. Among other things. Okay. Almost.
almost through building one, almost on our path to redemption. Okay. We did it. Ooh, I thought that bird was gonna get me. I thought that bird was gonna get me real good. And I I think the the beast needs to make a different sound when the beast falls off the building. Like it should make a lower pitch thud because I was a little bit triggered when I heard that noise at first, thinking we were back to where we were just a moment ago. Okay, okay, okay. Stay out of the lane. Okay. We're invincible for half a second. Y'all, the way I almost walked right off that building again. I need that high-pitched noise when I'm still holding the controller too close to the edge. Like a warning sound. Okay, look at all those shadows down there, though. That's got to mean something good, right? I got to be doing a good thing here, right? Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We were doing it, but we, we, okay, we're flopping. All right, no, we're back in it, we're back in it. No, I, ah, not three lives in a row. Okay, but you saw all those reserves I had. You saw all those reserves I had. Okay. We have half the reserves we had a moment ago, but we are still in it. As long as I do not hold left or right and subtle suggestive taps on left and right. Subtle, suggestive taps. Hashtag subtle, suggestive taps. Okay, okay, three more, three more. We've got to do this without face planning. We've got to do this without face planning. Okay, good, good, good. Getting our reserves back. Using subtle, suggestive taps. Okay, one more screen, one more screen. Oh, the timing, the timing of that heart. Oh, the timing of that heart came in clutch. We did it, redemption, redemption. I'm not such a flop anymore, we learned. We made progress. I'm so happy. I don't even care that that boulder just took me out literally on the first floor because I'm so happy we didn't fall off the building again because that was fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Excuse my French. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. This is... This is now where I get cocky and I'm going to lose it all on the first board. Okay. Nope. We're still in it. We're still in it. Still, we were in it. We were in it until we forgot the basic about don't stand under the little rivet thing. Which, again, I just did because I don't remember what I said 15 seconds ago. This is turning into quite the comedy of errors. Even though I'm not laughing, I'm sure someone is. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Just well done is how I'm going to order this beast when I'm done with him. I really thought that boulder was going to get me because the red shirt wasn't going to last long enough. Okay, we're still in it. Oop. <gasps> Did that count as losing a life because I was only like two frames up? Womp. All right. You know what? For the first go round ever on that game, that was interesting. Would I play that again? I don't know. You know, the thing about these games is that they have very addicting, simple game loops. So there is a part of me that goes, you know what? I could do it with some with some soft, subtle taps. I could do that again. I get through that second building again and possibly do better on that third building. And I think 
you know, when, when you have those kind of simple loops, it makes it very like addicting to want to go back and do it again. But is that the best retro game I've ever played? I don't know if the mechanics with the window work for me, like that whole, like the window shuts on you when you're halfway up the window. I don't love that, but that was interesting. That was certainly a game I would have never thought to try if I just hadn't randomly been inspired by an entry online I saw about it. And I'm glad I could embarrass myself today playing it for you all, but we got our redemption. So I don't want to hear it. Yes, I fell off the building, but we conquered that building eventually. And that's the moral of today's story. If you do something long enough, you can overcome anything. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you'll come back for another video later on. We'll do this again. Take care. Bye-bye.